Hi everyone, Jervazev PV here and in today's Tech Tips video I would like to show you a solution that I found on how to fit the GoPro Hero 8 on your cinematic FPV drones and on your side whoops. <laughs> The GoPro Hero 8 is uh, one of the most used action camera in uh, the FPV community because it has uh, some uh, unique features. It is uh, still a uh, quite small and lightweight action camera. It is uh, surely uh, smaller and lighter than the Hero 9 and the Hero 10. It is capable of 4K 60 frames per second video and uh, it is incredibly easy to be used with uh, real steady go stabilization software. You don't need to use uh, soft mounts uh, or uh, any other trick. Uh, you just uh, fit it on your drone directly with uh, a rigid and solid mount and you're ready to stabilize your footage with uh, real steady go. On the other hand, it has a very big problem that uh, is that the lens cover, uh, it is not replaceable like in the GoPro Hero 5, 6 or 7. So it is extremely important to protect uh, the camera body and uh, especially the area around the, the lens cause it would be quite expensive and uh, not so easy to replace the lens cover in case of damage. And this is why we usually print mounts like this one. These are two mounts that uh, I designed and printed in uh, TPU and they are designed to protect uh, completely the camera. But uh, you always have to slide your GoPro inside these, uh, these mounts to fit uh, the camera. And as you can see on my GoPro Euro 8, there is always the possibility to scratch a little bit your case and your buttons, sliding it inside here. And it is also quite difficult to do this action when you are using it in uh, cold weather, like uh, if you are flying in winter or in autumn, because TPU it is incredibly affected by temperature. In uh, it is uh, extremely soft when you use it uh, uh, from 20 to 30 Celsius degrees, but uh, it gets extremely stiff if you use. Uh, your uh, your drone in uh, situations with uh, temperatures quite low maybe around uh, zero celsius degrees and this is why i thought that uh, it was not easy to use uh, these uh, tpu mounts and uh, it was also quite difficult to fit the ND filters like this one these are tbs uh, ND filters because uh, on the 99 percent of uh, these uh, mounts we usually make cuts like uh, this one where you slide your ND filter glass inside and it is not easy it is uh, quite difficult to slide it especially when the TPU it is uh, stiff because of low temperature. Another problem it is that sometimes uh, you find these designs with the uh, fixed mount angle like this one that I designed. So there's no possibility to change the position angle of uh, your camera. So it is not easy to switch from an high speed to a low speed uh, flight style. So at this point, I had uh, principally three goals. The first one, it is to protect my GoPro Hero 8 body. And even if uh, I'm going to speak uh, about uh, use uh, this solution on cinematic drones and cinewhoops, uh, there's always a possibility of a crash. So it is uh, important that uh, even if we are not going to do freestyle maneuvers and flippy floppy moves, uh, we always have the possibility for a crash. So the first goal is uh, to protect uh, as much as we can the GoPro body. The second one, it is uh, a very easy and fast fitting on uh, your uh, FPV drone frame. And the third one, it is uh, a very easy and uh, super simple fitting of Andy filters and uh, the possibility to switch uh, from uh, one to the other easily and super fast. Then we have also another goal that uh, 
if it's possible would be great and it would be to be able to adjust the mount angle so we can easily change from uh, a low speed style clip to a high speed style clip okay so throwing away this and this could be the solution that I found. Looking randomly around the internet, I found that GoPro some years ago released this accessory for the GoPro Hero 8, that is the GoPro Hero 8 roll cage. This one, it was designed especially for extreme sports use just cause of what I told before, that the GoPro Hero 8 lens cover, it is not replaceable so easy and fast like the GoPro Hero 5, 6 or 7. So they designed this one that is a cage made of rubber silicone with uh, a replaceable lens in here. And out of the box, it is this one. It is a very, very cheap accessory. It cost me around 15 euros on Amazon. And uh, it is made of this... Uh, two parts, the silicon rubber body and the lens cover that it has transparent glass in here and a plastic frame that fits in here with these little hedges to keep it in place. So if you put your GoPro Hero 8 inside here, it is super easy and fast to fit. And here your GoPro Hero 8 body, it is completely covered and protected. And your lens too, because you have the lens cover in here. Super fast and super easy. Then you have the hole in here at the bottom of your GoPro to be able to flip the brackets of your GoPro standard mount. And this is what I used to fit the GoPro on my drones. So, the goals number one and number two, so to protect the camera and to fit it uh, very fast uh, on uh, your drone, are okay. And then we have the anti filters. So, maybe you can consider of uh, buying the replacement set of uh, these lens covers. They came uh, in uh, a set of two of these for something around 15 euros. And to buy the dark films uh, that... Uh, are used on uh, the car windows and uh, to make uh, your ND filters on your own but for sure the image quality would not be good as using a standard ND filters. Okay, hang on. While recording the video I forgot to mention uh, another possible solution that you can consider that uh, is uh, the set of ND filters made for this roll cage by Polar Pro. I don't have any doubt of um, the high quality ND filters made by Polar Pro, but uh, in my opinion, it could be quite hard to think about buying an ND filter that uh, costs uh, almost uh, 30 euros and to put it on your FPV drones and to risk a crash quite every time you fly. So I just uh, avoid this possibility and uh, try to think on uh, something different and a little bit cheaper so get back to the video and to the solution i found and this is why i designed these things these are just exactly the same frame like this one these are printed in uh, tpu and you can fit them inside of the gopro roll cage and they have a little cut in here where you can put the tbs and the filters before going on i have to say that uh, there is something strange on these uh, tbs and the filters that i have here these are an nd4 an nd8 or an nd16 and they have different thickness the nd4 and, uh, and the nd8 uh, are two millimeters thick and the nd16 it is 2.5 so this is why i designed different thickness uh, frames and as you maybe can see here, these two are for the two millimeter and this one, it is just a little bit thicker and it is for the 2.5 millimeter. So this is why I'm going to fit my ND filter in here and here it comes, okay, fit it inside and then just pop it in here. Okay, here we have the other two 
and here is how simple it is to switch one from the other and this one it is very well fixed on the GoPro roll cage it is not like uh, the one you can find with uh, some magnets in here that uh, they can be popped off uh, in the case of a crash or maybe in case just uh, of a uh, hard uh, flip or roll while flying this one it is incredibly well fixed and uh, for sure they are not good for freestyle crashes but uh, for a cinematic flight they are incredibly well fixed then we have our last goal that it was to be able to adjust the angle of uh, our gopro and with the standard gopro mount this is possible because i'm going to use this one but uh, you can use also a standard gopro mount screw but i prefer this one it is a little bit lighter and here it is how it looks when fitted on and here we are we can adjust the angle of the camera as we want maybe we can just untighten a little bit the screw for an easy adjust and then screw it on again here we go the camera it is incredibly protected it is super easy to pop off the ND filter and to switch with another one here it is fixed and ready to fly and now I would like to show you also how it looks on a 5 inch cinematic drone and because this one was just a signy whoop this was a Dioton Taycan here it is this is my Gepper C Mark IV and here we are super easy to fit and you can adjust your angle and protect completely your camera okay that's enough for today i hope uh, you are going to find uh, the solution useful and uh, i'm going to leave you in the video description the link to thingiverse where you can find the stl files uh, of uh, these frames uh, they are designed to be fitted with uh, the tbs uh, and the filters uh, remember to check before the thickness of uh, your of your glass because as i said in, in the three one that i have i have two of them that are two millimeters and one that is 2.5 millimeters so check them and uh, print uh, the one that is correct uh, for your ND filter. Share your comments, share your thoughts about uh, this uh, solution, and remember, stay always work in progress. Bye.